If you follow around along on my Instagram stories, you'll know that I've got a problem with my radiator. If you look here, you can see a lot of radiator fluid dripping. I've already started pulling everything apart. To catch up, if you haven't been following my videos for long, it's a regular 34 inch radiator that goes along with these seven four liters. But I've got a 2008 fan and shroud system in there from a 2008 Suburban. And you can kind of see, ooh, let's get an angle you can see. You see this bracket up in there, and we're focusing on the wrong thing, camera. But that bracket holds the bottom of it in. And if you, yeah, I'm not sure how good this quality is going to be, but there's a gap there. But I think what has happened, somewhere that gap has been able to touch and cut a hole in my radiator. So I've got a new radiator, I've got to pull out all that, and then i got to address that whole problem. The idea was not to have that touch. I got it secured to the top fin, and then down here with these two L brackets and some simple nut certs that you can see up in there maybe golly it's hard to look in here because you know you got the inner cooler in the way everything else but that's what i'm after just two of those l brackets get those screws out of those i can lift that fan shroud out and i've got to address i got to give some sort of gas to the bottom of that so we'll see that confirms it the fan was making contact i thought i built it not to so i guess i got to put a gasket in there but it's peeing out right there and right where my brackets are, I've got wear spots too, but I think this is it. That's the hole that's killing me. So a new radiator, address to the gasket, we'll fix this. Now I just got to unattach all of these things. That side's got a whole bunch of lines. That side's got a whole bunch of lines. Pull the radiator out. All right, there you go. There's the empty cavity where the radiator goes. Everything's unhooked. Transmission cooler lines this side, oil cooler lines this side. Upper radio hose here, lower radio hose there. The heater hose goes in here. Uh, yeah. You can see what I'm talking about with those two L brackets. I just simply have those in the core support at the bottom. They don't come in contact with the radiator. They're supposed to hold the fan shroud a little bit away from it. I think I'm gonna get some heater hose and make a gasket for it. You can see the intercooler's down there shoved in there the best it can be. It does leave me thinking I might could do a larger intercooler. There's a little bit of space in there. What's he talking about, Mikey? Alright. Radiator. And I've got my two nephews here helping me out. And quizzing them on what they know about or don't know about. I want to hose this out a little bit. A lot of gunk and junk. I see a dragonfly. I see cutoffs from some of my old electrical work. Leaves, everything else. Alright, back at it. Alright, so we're looking at the damage. As I suspected, a little pinhole right there. And that was caused by a tab of material that's here, we just cut it off. So that should be out of the way. The way I've done this, this piece here actually sits up here. You can see some wear marks. So it sits up on this side of the tank. We're about half an inch short on this side. So you can see some wear marks. I think a lot of these are from, they're from when it's coming in and out. You can see the tabs here, here, and over there are from the stock 2008 style one. So I cut it off, cut it off, cut it off. That should be out of the way. Smooth this off the best I can. So we don't have this again, but there's one more thing I wanna do. And we're gonna go see if we can find on the 31st of December, a hardware store that's open. I need some sheet metal, little small strips I'm gonna put in here and we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna try to protect this, keep this from happening again. Ideally, you'd have a tight seal around all of this, right? Obviously, a 2008 Suburban that this is supposed to mate up with is about two inches shorter. And then that would actually come to here. I've thought about putting one of those radiators in instead, but I think that extra, was that one, two, three, four different cooling channels? I think we need them. So I just got to keep that from happening again. Because um, this is half an inch short and doesn't mate up there, which if I could actually... And how would you even go about finding a shroud that actually is correct that way, right? That's not very likely. So I think I'm going to put some strip metal right there, bolt it into that flange, that flange, and then that way it'll keep something like that from happening again. The offending part has been cut off, but still, when I've got it bracketed in through here, it does hold it off a little bit. And that was my whole idea. It holds it off a little bit. I should still be drawing enough air through these things. It does. It does cool the truck. 
but it's just that. So we gotta figure it out. I gotta figure out, make sure this doesn't happen again. I think that, that, and that were all the tabs I just cut off that just sliding it in and out, they're hitting the fins there. Another fun thing we figured out, new radiator had these brass ones, but this came off the old radiator. So all of that adapts together. I can put my transmission cooler lines right back in. So we're good to hook there. So I just need to figure, figure out how to mount this correctly so it doesn't happen again. I like the fans, I need the fans. Just need to make them a more survivable mount. Testing things out with the new radiator. A little bit of three quarter inch by eighth inch aluminum. I would like to slam it that way, but there's a notch here. So that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna bring it to the end of that notch. That will keep this corner from ever diving into the radiator again. And it should work pretty decently for me. And same thing as before, I'll just do my self-tappers through the flange up top. The bottom, I do, I got some heater hose. I'm gonna put some heater hose in there as a gasket along the bottom, which would also help protect things from rubbing through again. She was a good radiator, lasted years. Well, now let's do this one. And that's what I'm gonna do with that. So heater hose cut in half, just half inch heater hose. Slipped on over there, provides a rubber bumper. So we don't have that problem ever again. In theory, according to prophecy. Hopefully it works. Maybe I know what I'm doing, who knows. All right, here we go. New radiator has a slight difference. I can actually fit the shroud in between the tanks on both sides, so just a slight difference. With this gasket strip along the bottom, I don't have any plastic touching. There's a small gap there, not enough to cause any problems with the cooling, but this whole gasket now is gonna be contact with the lower, and it will be that fin right there that it's kind of resting against, but that'll, none of the plastic in there, none of the plastic in here. This is the top flange, flange to flange, so nothing should be touching where I get vibrational wear. And depending on how this hooks up with my brackets down below, this may have some gap. I kind of designed it too. I hope it does. We'll find out. But well, we'll get her lined up and hooked back up. Now it's time to install the radiator and get that back in. There we go. She's running again. I spilled a little bit there. That's not leaking from anywhere. We already checked. Lower hose is good. I don't see any of the transmission or oil fluids leaking. I want to see, I may have overfilled in the bottle back there, but I don't think I lost more than three or four gallons. The whole system contains about seven because you're two heater cores, but I kept the heater hose high, so that shouldn't have done anything. I think we're doing all right. All right, she's running, no leaks, no nothing. Got her done, so there's another eye. Another set of eyes on what I've done to make this thing be what I want it to be. It's more complicated, most mechanics hate it. Usually why I do these jobs myself. This one's easy enough. Lucky enough to have family down here in Southern Utah. Just had to limp it to them so I could get this done. If you watched this far, appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next one.